Welcome to today's video on 3D designing a custom letter box. To start the designing process, let's go to Tinkercad.com. Here you'll need to log in with your school Gmail account and also join your teacher's classroom. Once you've logged in, you should see this dashboard and go ahead and click the Create button and select 3D Design to begin your project. As usual, check the settings in the bottom right hand corner and make sure your units are set to inches and the length and width should be set to 8 inches each. Then make these settings the default and close settings. Now we're ready to design our letterbox. Use the text from the basic shapes and drag it onto your work plane. For my example, I'm going to be working with the letter A, but here you can select whichever letter you would like. Then I'll change the font to sans and we'll set the bevel to approximately 1.5. In my case, I'm going to decrease this amount of bevel to 1 so that I can still have a visible gap between the um, letter A. Then I'm going to increase the length and width of my letter by pressing shift and then dragging one of these corner buttons. By pressing shift, we keep the ratio of length and width the same as we increase the size of our letter. Increase the size till the length and width is about 4 inches. Anything between 3 and 4 inches should be fine. So I'm going to go ahead and stop here. And then I'm going to change the perspective to the front top corner. And this way I can see the height more easily. Now I'll adjust the height to one inch to create the base for my box. Now before moving on, I'm going to use Command or Control C and V to copy paste this letter so that I have one template of the letter saved for the lid and one for the base of the box. Now to start designing the base of the box, I'll set aside one A and focus on this one here. So first I'll start by again Command or Control C and then V depending on your keyboard. And now I'm going to decrease the bevel to 0 0.75. This way the inner hole of our box will be slightly smaller than the outer rim. And that way once we combine both the hole and the outer rim, we'll have a hollowed out letter A for the base of our box. To easily combine the two components, drag over the two letter A's, or whichever letter you have in your case, and then use this aligning tool in the top right hand corner, or by clicking the letter L on your keyboard, to easily align your two components. Also make sure to align the hole to the top, or you can manually raise it up by a little bit to ensure that you're not hollowing out the letter A, but are leaving a base on the bottom for the base of your box. Once you have aligned it successfully, drag over both components to select it, and then use this button in the top right hand corner or use Ctrl G on your keyboard to group the components. Now we have a hollowed out letter A. Now you might notice that for your letter you'll have some unexpected protrusions and gaps on the base of your letter. This happens when we bevel the letter because the intersecting lines of the letter start to form holes. To fix this, we can manually take either a hollow out feature or a solid figure, drag it onto the base of the box and fill out or cut out the extrusions or holes, like so. So I'll start by dragging on a hollow out cylinder, change the shape so that it cuts out the extrusion but not the edges of my box. And then looking from the side, I'll make sure that I am not cutting through the entire base of my letter. Then to cut out the extrusion, I will select both the base of the letter and the 
hollow out cylinder and group them like so. And now most of my extrusion has been cut out and I have an almost flush base to my box. Now to fix the hole, I will add a square feature. We'll resize it so that it does not interfere with the edges of my letterbox base. I'll adjust the height to 0 0.25, which is the width of our or the height of the base of our letterbox. And then I would drag this down so that it is flush with the base of my letterbox. You can play around with these figures to customize the base of your box and make sure that all extrusions and holes are cleared up. In my case, I adjusted the heist to 0 0.1 to achieve a flush base design. Now I have successfully finished designing the base of my letterbox. Now to start designing the lid of our box, drag the A that we had kept aside at the beginning of the video. Now this A is the same width as the outer edge of our letter base. But now to make the lid, adjust the height by clicking this middle button and change it to 0 0.1. This will make the rim of our lid. Now Command or Control C V to copy and paste the letter, click it, and adjust the bevel to 0 0.75 to match the thickness of the inner hollowed out section of our letter base box. Now by doing this, our when we stack the larger and smaller letter A, will create a lid that fits snugly onto the top of our letter A box. To perfectly align the two letters, select both by dragging your cursor on top of both the A's, and then use the align tool to vertically and horizontally align your letter. Then select the inner letter and drag it upwards so that there's a slight height difference between the base and the second layer of the lid. And there you have it. Your lid is complete. Now when you place this lid on top of the hollowed out box, it'll fit snugly to the top and will serve as a tightly fitting lid to your letter box. And there you have it. You've completed your letter box design. You have two components, the base of the box and the lid of the box, and when put together, you'll have a completed letter box. Thanks for watching.